all right y'all we are back with another video and here we go again with old corrupt da fanny willis and i told y'all every single day it is starting to get worse and worse and worse for fanny willis with all these scandals the audio getting leaked you got more whistleblowers coming out exposing her she is in a world of trouble and at this point like i mentioned before this case is pretty much closed that she trying to uh put on donald trump it's pretty much gone pretty much just done but this one right here is coming from doug he said you won't believe what the judge got on fanny willis and there's not enough popcorn in the world for this one so we definitely need to check this one out hopefully we're hearing some news that this case is permanently over she's done but like i said make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel shout out to everybody showing so much support everybody be leaving positive comments in the comment section also want to thank everybody who clicked on the video for the very first time i appreciate all of you without further ado let's dive straight into this and like i said the more that this case that she had on trump is is delayed is a win for trump every single time but we are waiting on the news that she is gone she is disqualified and this trump case is closed and i really believe that's what it's going to be you know so uh let's go ahead and dive straight into this and let's see exactly what happened that slow ball is moving forward on disqualifying fanny willis and today mm -hmm. it gets one step closer this girl can't catch a break and that's a good thing because she should be more careful who she dates, or I should say Nathan Wade should be more careful who he dates when he's married. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where all the happy patriots are. As we pursue Fannie Willis, because she went after Trump, this girl got to go, has to be disqualified. The whole case has to be dismissed because she crookedly tried to take your tax dollars for personal payoff Yep. That she then squandered on her and her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. First, let's read this headline. Newsweek, Trump co-defendant sends judge a new argument to disqualify mm. Fannie Willis. This is brand new. Okay, we've, we've hinted at some of this stuff, but now the case is actually starting to get some meat on the bones. Here's another funny headline from MSNBC News. Attacks on Willis raise debate on how best to preserve the Georgia case against Trump. MSNBC News is going, how do we hang on to this thing? We can't <laughs> preserve it. We can't they, get him. It's falling apart. The New York crying. Times says, why the case against Fannie Willis feels familiar to black women. Now, I'm not going to touch this one. I'm going to let the black women in my audience come out and tell and interpret this for me. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> that that didn't even occur to me that the first thing that happened when this case comes up is that black women are going, oh, yeah, this sounds so familiar to us. Okay. I just want you to get a look at yeah, that's this crazy. is Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade's defense lawyer. Look at this face. Okay. Miss Merchant, what haven't you gotten that was on Exhibit A and why is it relevant? Yes, sir. How's she feeling today? And then here's Mike Roman's lawyer just dismantling Fannie Willis's testimony for when she lied in church. We do not have a current contract for Anna Cross or John Floyd. Um, and the issue with that is that Ms. Willis made statements that she paid them the same amount of money. The contracts we have for Mr. Floyd, that is an incorrect statement. Lord, you're flawed, hard-headed, and imperfect child. I'm a little confused. I appointed three special counsel, as is my right to do. Paid them all the same hourly rate. Paid them all the same hourly rate. Paid them all the same hourly That's rate. That's a lie. They only attacked one. Um, they were. He was not paid the same amount of money. Whoops. She said that they were all paid the no, same. They, they were not paid the same, which shows. No, wasn't. Demands the question: Why was Nathan Wade paid more? Let's get back to that Newsweek article. A co-defendant of Donald Trump's election interference case in Georgia presented more evidence to support the argument that Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis and her boyfriend Nathan Wade should be disqualified from prosecuting Trump and 18 co-defendants. What is that evidence, please? On Tuesday, David Schaefer. And then here's a quick picture of David Schaefer just so you can see what he looks like. He looks innocent to me. David Schaefer, a former chairman of the state Republican Party, who has been charged with racketeering in connection with his effort to help Trump overturn the 2020 election, submitted additional court filings to the motion 
seeking to disqualify Willis. Everyone's contributing. Everybody. See, sometimes it takes a village to overturn a tyrant like Fannie Willis. Yep. The new filing accuses Wade, a special prosecutor in the Georgia case, of having lied in his divorce proceedings. It presented the court with evidence that he had updated his answers to two questions asking if he had sexual relations with, with anyone outside from his spouse during his marriage and when he may have entertained a member of the opposite sex, not including his wife during that period. Hmm. No, I don't want to get into the soap opera of all that. He right. said, she said yeah. only that his answers uh, under oath, two of them were lies and he had to update them. Now we're going to go to David Schaefer's Twitter. This is Trump co-defendant David Schaefer said, we have supplemented our motion to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis with exhibits showing sworn testimonies by Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade in the disqualification matter conflict with sworn statements he gave in his divorce. So what were his statements he has to change? There's the big bad document yep. between the state of Georgia and David Schaefer. So this is what they filed and they gave this to the judge. So this goes into the legal record. Respectfully showing that upon information and belief, Special Assistant District Attorney Nathan Wade has made knowingly false and misleading statements yep. concerning his relationship with Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. Mr. Schaefer submits this the statements as additional evidence of misconduct by the prosecution in the action as additional grounds for disqualification of District Attorney Willis and her office. Good. We like that, but that did not give us enough information. We're going to go back to the Newsweek article again. The document Schaefer provided, which Newsweek has seen, mm -hmm. show that Wade responded, quote unquote, none to both questions on May 30th in 2023 but that he updated those answers last month after the allegations of an, quote, improper relationship. So first they asked him, did you cheat? And he said, none. He had no See, and that's the thing. They both got caught in the lie, talking about they wasn't doing anything. And then you see this woman goes into a black church and just tell a freaking lie, trying to use God for her argument, to try to win an argument, she go go to a church, and like I said, around uh, to a black church to try to convince everybody that Donald Trump is racist. And they only coming after Nathan Wade because he's black. They were just stupid to say, and talking about everybody in the office was paid the same. That's a lie. How? Okay, you paid Nathan Wade almost seven hundred thousand dollars. And the, the other person that was up under him was making like around $93,000. So how's the word everybody was making around the same amount of money? She just told a lie. She even said to the church that she that her and Nathan Wade wasn't in no relationship. They weren't doing anything. Come to find out, she admitted it. They have been lying the whole time, her and Nathan Wade. That's why Nathan Wade's wife went after him. Because he was trying to hide how much Fannie Willie was paying him. He didn't even want his wife to know. And now everything just starting to come out. And it just getting bad and bad. I mean, it this right here is a bad look for Fannie Willie. It was already bad enough that she was going after Donald Trump for no reason just because she don't like him. And you got everybody that she trying to uh, get in this racketeering thing coming out against her. Won't her disqualified. So at this point, I'm thinking now that this case is pretty much over to me. Even though I know it's some more to go, but I, at this point, it's just so much stuff coming out. I can't see how Fannie Willis can get out of this. I don't see how in the world she can get out of this without them closing this case. This case has to be closed, and Fannie Wilson did so much that she will probably end up in prison. That's the way it's looking like. Cause it's more and more information is coming in about Fannie Willis and how corrupt she is. None. That's a clear lie on both accounts. And then he goes in and he changed them to this. Uh improper relations between himself and Willis were brought to light. He changed his response to the much simpler quote, the plaintiff declines to respond to this inter interrogatory 
and asserts his privilege pursuant to OCGA section 245505, unquote, oh boy. your honor. That, you know? That's crazy. <laughs> At this point, man, I'm telling you, they was they was trying to talk bad about Donald Trump. She was trying to call Donald Trump a liar, how corrupt he is, how wrong she is. But look at all the stuff that then came out about Fannie Willis. Look at years ago when she did that interview about, I don't think people, if I'm the boss, I shouldn't think people up under me should be sleeping together. I don't think people should be stealing money. And she did both of those. She slept with, uh, uh, with the prosecutor that she got. And she stole, basically stole money, used taxpayer dollars to go on trips. What she said she wasn't going to do, she did. And now you got everybody coming out. Then we've seen the donation scams of her using elderly people's name and addresses in a donation scam. But they, but they tried to call Donald Trump corrupt. No, Fannie Willis is the one corrupt. They were just hiding it. But now everything is then came to light. Now look how she looked. So to me, I feel like this case is, is about permanently over, man, because it's like every single day something new, something devastating is coming out about Fannie Willis, and she deserves every bit of it for her actions. No, that fails the Occam's razor test of the simplest answer, okay? Georgia law states that no party is required to testify on matters that, quote, incriminate or, quote, bring infamy, disgrace, or public contempt upon parties, witnesses, or their family. Oh, here we go. Now let's go to, let's see, here's Benny Johnson Twitter. Shout yes, Benny. Rep. Corey Mills of Florida goes over his letter requesting the disbarment of Fannie Willis. Yet another prong of attack. We're going to get her disbarred. Mm -hmm. That was written by your office uh, asking for the disbarment. It's very thorough. The unethical and unprofessional behavior in which she conducted with her inappropriate relationship. And we essentially feel that the bar makes it very clear that even the perception of unethical and unprofessional behavior is reasoning for the uh, disbarment. And so I think that she has more than met that criteria and should be met uh, with, with the full renders of justice. Get her disbarred. It's all good news I for think Trump it's over. because if they can keep hammering her, that we're getting enough delays, we're getting enough coverage, that this thing is getting counterattacked and it's falling yep. apart before our very eyes. You guys like this kind of shout out to Doug, man. Shout out to Doug. Like I said, make sure y'all uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like I said before, it's not looking good for Fannie Willis at all. She got herself in this situation. Should have left Donald Trump alone from the get go. But, you know, you got everybody, Jack Smith, Letitia James. You got all these corrupt people, Alvin Braggs. You got all these people coming at Trump at all at one time. And it's backfiring badly on them. I mean, just backfiring badly. But like I said, we shall see what's going to happen. Me personally, I think this case is permanently over. This is how I feel about it. You know, some people might not like it. This is how I feel about it. I feel like this case is permanently over because, I mean, it ain't the, it ain't the point of her going after Trump. Just look at all the other stuff. That's, it's like everyday stuff is getting piled on, you know, with the donation scam with her using elderly people names and addresses. No, and was using that money, they said, allegedly said she was using that money to win the election, to fund her election. So it's just so much stuff, man, that it just coming out and it just look really, really bad. And I don't see how to, how she can get out of this. That might well go ahead and break the news to say she disqualified. And this, and I, hopefully the Trump case be closed. You know what I'm saying? We can just leave this stuff alone. But thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and I'll catch y'all in the next one.